just happened to end up in the room and somebody grabbed a piece of aluminum, told me to drill a hole and I was like, I don't know how to drill a hole, what are you doing? And it was just an exhilarating feeling. It's like, I'm using power tools. How many extracurricular activities can you say that you made this and it's a six foot, 100 pound moving machine? Not many. You're gonna know how to work hard. You're gonna know how to concentrate. You know how to give maximum effort, teamwork. And it's not just the math and science aspect. It's a team of people working together. It's website designing, it's presentation, it's t-shirt designing. It's not just engineering. If you like to work with your hands, if you like mechanics, engineering, science, math, if you just like to make posters, first gives you a chance to do anything. It starts in kindergarten, continues through elementary school, into middle school, all the way through high school and beyond. It's all about fun, teamwork, designing and building robots, research, friendly competition and celebration, hard work, learning from each other and adults, success and failure, making new friends, awards and scholarships, discovering what you can do how far you can go. We call it FIRST. Founded in 1989 by inventor Dean Kamen to inspire America's young people to become leaders of science and technology, FIRST now involves hundreds of thousands of young people, volunteers and sponsors around the world. The problem is that so many kids grow up in an environment where by the time they're 10 or 12 years old, they think their options in the world are being in the NBA or being in Hollywood. It seemed to me that what we needed to do to get first going was to break the stereotypical mindset given to kids about what's important in our culture. Let these kids that had never met a scientist or a professional engineer see what these people do. Put those people and ideas in front of these kids, you'll change where they put their time and attention, and you'll change the outcome. You'll change what they'll be when they're 17. First challenges young people to think, create, cooperate, and learn. Working with professional engineers and other mentors, students are challenged to design, build, and program robots for competition. The fun they have and the friendships they make along the way help transform how they think about science and engineering. A few of these CEOs said, Dean, what are you going to do that'll make kids more passionate about science or engineering? I said, let's steal from the playbook of sports. Let's create a sporting event. First is a family of four programs, each level designed to help young people develop new skills, learn how to work as a team, and practice gracious professionalism. In other words, helping everybody, not just your own team, and being a good sport. For six to nine-year-olds, there's Junior First Lego League, where teams of budding scientists and engineers research real-world problems, then create presentations to illustrate their solutions. From ages nine to 14, it's First Lego League, where teams build autonomous robots from Lego kits and use research to solve science and engineering challenges. More complicated challenges begin at the high school level, starting with the first tech challenge. Teams build and program more sophisticated robots while maintaining an engineering notebook, then compete with other teams' machines on a playing field. The oldest, most intense program of all is FIRST Robotics Competition. In just six weeks, high schoolers with professional engineers as coaches and mentors design and build industrial-grade robots to compete with and against each other in a challenging field game. Hoping to win bragging rights, recognition, and awards, FTC and FRC participants are eligible for millions of dollars in scholarships given by universities and corporations. At every step along the first journey, tens of thousands of adults are there to help as coaches, mentors, volunteers, and sponsors. Many have come through the program themselves because they believe in the power of FIRST to engage young people at every age level, to teach new skills, build self-confidence, ignite passions, and inspire them to consider choosing science, engineering, and technology as a career path. 10 or 15 or 20 years from today, some kid in those stands will have cured Alzheimer's or AIDS or cancer or built an engine that doesn't pollute 
the probability that one of them is going to do something spectacular that they would not have done without first is almost a guarantee. Look at these kids. They're, they're the future. We're part of it by helping them figure out what to do with their lives.